Okay, in the um, last video we covered functional groups. If you haven't watched that yet, there'll be a link in the description below. But right now we're going to talk about different types of reactions which the functional groups can undergo. Some of them are uh, uh, polymerization, some of them um, are just uh, transforming from one to another and just adding small groups on. So if we start off with uh, a simple um, addition reaction, so write that down. Yeah, it's meant to be an I. Okay, addition. Now, just let's say we've got uh, an R group. So remember, an R group just stands for the rest of the molecule. It can be a whole chain of hydrocarbon of, of hydrocarbon chains. It can be uh, benzene rigs. It could be more functional groups off there. It basically means the rest of the molecule. We don't care about it. All we need to know is that it is there. So and um, we can denote different um, R's by a superscript number. Um, so if we've got R1, so that's the rest of the molecule, uh, CH, um, a double bond to another CH, and then we can denote a second R uh, group, but this time it'll be R2 because it's different to R1. I mean, it could be the same. If we do it as the same, then they both be R1, but we don't know, so we denote them as differently. And that can we can add to that um, any um, other uh, groups or or anything that would want to react with that and we'll just call those um, X Y for now that's a molecule with anything that can react now what happens here is the double bond in here breaks apart okay leaving two spare um, bonds to take place so what we'll be left with is R1 again CH but this time we'll have uh, another bond coming up here because we've taken rid of one, one, got rid of one of the double bonds uh, so either x or y it doesn't matter can attach to there then we have another ch group and uh, the other group there and then the other r group there so addition reaction is where a double bond between two hydrocarbons uh, breaks apart and allows the uh, addition of another group to attach on Okay. Let's go for a um, another colour for this. A blue, I think, is rather appropriate. This is a condensation reaction. Okay, and uh, so we we'll just do this. Condensation reaction occurs with um, carboxylic acid uh, functional group. So if we remember from the last video, uh, carboxylic acid group is R. It uh, doesn't matter what it is, but we'll denote this R1. Um, then the part of the functional group is the carbon, double bond to an oxygen, and then an OH group at the bottom there. And now, um, condensation reaction combines the carboxylic acid functional group with a hydroxyl functional group um, of another um, molecule. Um, so that is uh, an OH. I don't want that. O, H, and then we've got um, R. Well, that's wrong, isn't it? Apologies. Got the H and the O the round the wrong way around. So let's go do that. So so now we've got um, O. So H O. Because the O's got uh, two two could make two bonds. The oxygen could make two bonds, and then we've got. Um, R2, so another rest of molecule section. Now, what happens here is the uh, is the hydrogen from here separates from the oxygen, so the OH group here splits apart, and that hydrogen joins um, this oxygen over here, and then this bond here is split. So if we draw out the products, will be again we still got R1 to carbon, double bond to the oxygen. And then we go down to O, and then the R2 group from our um, our uh, our um, hydroxyl group um, has joined on to the oxygen here. So that's the R2 from the hydroxyl group. Um, plus, what we have left over, we'll have a well, condensation reaction. It's laid out for a reason because water is a byproduct, which is H. To, uh, as you can see here, that H joins there, so that's 2H, that's H2O. So that's basically a condensation reaction. 
Hey, let's go for another color for um, a, a hydrolysis um, reaction, which is basically the reverse of a condensation reaction. Um, so you'll start off with um, uh, your products um, from your condensation reaction. Sorry, this. Let me just write this down. This is a hydrolysis reaction. Uh, yeah, hydrolysis. That's spelled right, I think. No, I've got a Y missing. Uh, so why uh, missing a Y there? Okay, no, no hydrolysis. So this is a hydrolysis reaction. So it's a reverse condensation reaction, and that will be plus uh, H two O, and then we'll get outputted from that reaction. Uh, oh well, see, there we've got a carboxylic acid group back um, there, and then we've got our uh, hydroxyl group. Um, as well, so we've got H O, and then we've got our R two group back there from there. So it's basically just the reverse of a condensation reaction. So now, if we go on to an oxidization reaction, again we'll we'll start off with um, an R group because it doesn't matter what that is; it's just the rest of the molecule. Uh, CH two uh, hydrocarbon, uh, O H, which is a hydroxyl group. Now, um, oxidization works under the uh, under a catalyst um, so let's draw that longer so it will work under um, a well you don't need to know this but basically it reacts under uh, the influence of a catalyst along with hydrochloric acid um, as a buffer. So here we'll have um, our R group and then COOH. Now if you know our COOH is just another way of writing our carboxylic acid um, molecule. So that they're the same thing there. So as you see, um, it's just undergone a, um, a a reaction here under the influence of catalyst and hydrochloric acid. Now there is uh, one last um, reaction, which is again the opposite um, to. Uh, let's just give us a bit more room here. Let's go on to another page. Now this is a reduction, which is the opposite of oxidization. Um, so you've got an R group again, doesn't matter what the R group is, um, COOH. Now again, remember COOH is another way of writing our carboxylic acid group. So we've got C, double bond to an oxygen, and down here we've got our hydroxyl group, but this whole makes our carboxylic acid group. Um, and they go to uh, under the influence of a um, hydrogen catalyst. Um, so we've got our um, our rest of our molecule, the R goes to CH two, um, and then we've got OH on the end. So it's exactly the it's just the reverse of our oxidization reaction here. In fact, let me just write that down. Okay, so again, reduction is the opposite of oxidization. Because uh, remember, um, from chemistry, oil rig. Um, oxidization is the loss and reduction is the gain of electrons. So in other words, oxidization is the um, gain of oxygen or the loss of hydrogen and reduction is the loss of oxygen or 
the gain of hydrogen. As you can see here, we've gained uh, hydrogen in the reaction and in the oxidization, we've lost um, hydrogen in the reaction. Anyway, I hope you found this uh, tutorial um, useful. Uh, don't forget to like, subscribe and comment. Thanks for watching.